Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much for organizers to invite me to this nice conference in this nice place where, uh, in fact, I have never been before. So, uh, and I beg your pardon, to my regret, I will say nothing about representation uh, theory. And uh, I will speak about integrable system and only one system, in fact. Only system which is uh, well known in the, uh, current times, so called Hirota difference equation. This equation, it is a discrete equation, so we are speaking no, about systems or uh, functions of three variables, m1, m2, m3. So m1, m2, m3 are uh, numbers. Um, and uh, so m i be close to z. Uh, I will denote shifts in these variables by these numbers in parentheses above. So two numbers means two consequent shifts. And uh, he wrote a difference equation in these terms is this bilinear equation. So it is, so here this is shift with respect to first uh, variable, second variable, then different second minus first. And as you see, it is symmetric with cyclic uh, permutations. So it is, uh, after shift by one, you have uh, the same terms here. This uh, equation is very well known. There is a lot of people who work on this. This is very, uh, how to say, very limited number of authors. Uh, my, uh, much more authors are known here. This equation is known because uh, it gives uh, a lot of other difference and differential equations in limits when uh, these parameters are changed. Difference between shifts are changed. Uh, you arrive to difference equations. Some of them I will show later. And uh, in this way, you can derive from here, say, the same Kadams of Petrashvili equation or Darbu uh, system or um, other uh, or Toda system or uh, whatever. So, uh, and uh, okay, this question has a lot of literature, so uh, here there is some list of literature, but for me it's essential that this is uh, integrable equations, equation, and this I have to comment as there was some discussion of integrability today already. So, okay, you can, uh, one can say that if we consider these three equations, for some function phi of m1, m2, m3. So m without number means uh, triad of function. So if I uh, introduce these three equations, and uh, it's easy to see that only two of them are independent. The third one is just close the list. So any two of them, compatibility of any two of these system gives you um, Hirota difference equation. So this equation, uh, say if you shift, what means compatibility here? Let me say I choose phi shifted by two, I shifted by third variable, and this is equal to shift 
with respect to third variable, shifted by the second variable. So uh, this equality is equivalent to this one, which was shown before. And uh, so in this sense, we can say that these uh, two arbitrary equations from this list of three gives us lux pair. Well, lux pair is not, strictly speaking, has not enough to say about integrability. This point is uh, missed very often, and let maybe I comment it on example of um, uh, PD difference equation. Let me say that we have some differential, some system. So k of u, u by x, y, I don't know, t, and so on. So k is some function of functions u that are functions of independent variables. It's easy to, s to see that this system, these are legs pair for an arbitrary equation. So, if you want to consider multi-component case, you just can uh, consider this as a quality of diagonal matrices. All matrices are diagonal here. So, uh, in this sense, lux pair is senseless. It doesn't give any information uh, as it is. Well, what we are saying about lux pair, continuous and discrete case, it always means that we have L operator with non-trivial spectrum. With non-trivial, say, direct and inverse scattering problems. Well, so what happens here? We, if this is real, lux pair or some kind of this joke. Well, situation here is, in a sense, even worse than in this case. If I look, it's easy to, so here I repeat this equation. And it's easy to see that, uh, so okay, from one point of view, I can consider this as a time evolution in the third variable uh, when uh, v is given at moment t3 equal to zero as function of t1 and t2 initial dot. <coughs> but it's easy to see that I, either this condition that shift with respect to third variable is equal to shift with respect to first and uh, third uh, with respect to second makes identity of this so if, say, shift with respect to third variable is equal to shift with respect to one, this term is absent. It is zero, yes? And this term is equal to this one, but with opposite sign, okay? So equation became uh, senseless. And uh, in this sense, here the difference equation uh, has two are two solutions, trivial solutions. So you can write any function of depending on this way or this way uh, for your dot. So in order to avoid this, we introduced a special trick. We consider instead of V of M, we introduce function that linear grows at uh, M infinity. 
So we have U of M, which is bounded, and uh, parameters A1, A2, A3, such that V of M is this combination, A1, M1, A2, M2, A3, M3. And consider all A's to be different, all three A's to be different. In this way, we, um, it's clear that uh, it excludes these cases. These cases are for different A's are different, and um, I will show later that it solves the problem. So strictly speaking, here I have to substitute for the uh, Yossalu Lux equations uh, for difference of U, so introduce this A, but for simplicity I write the same form I used before, but uh, keeping in mind that we are uh, ch changing linear at infinity. So, inverse problem for uh, this equation is given in this way. So, d bar derivative, derivative of phi with respect to lambda bar. I will explain what is lambda here, spectral parameter, is given as r of lambda multiplied by phi at conjugate point, lambda bar. And so, R of lambda is a spectral data here, so the standard trick, and uh, uh, phi is a uh, phi of m lambda is function of uh, lambda normalized by this condition at infinity. So for lambda uh, going to infinity, this product tends to one. I've denoted by chi from time to time. Then, under these conditions, V of M is given in this form. So we reconstruct uh, initial, uh, initial data in terms of uh, spectral data. So it's the whole story about Hirota difference equation. It's easy to show that the, this uh, problem is solvable. Again, if all these A1, A2, and A3 are real, but all different numbers. So now uh, what I'm going to say, I'm going to speak about symmetries of this equation. So as I said, we had three parameters, A1, A2, and three. And corresponding to these parameters, corresponding to these shifts here given in this uh, asymptotic condition, we obtain uh, solution dependent on three variables. Parameters were arbitrary. So it's clear that if we, I switch on much more parameters, say A3 or A4 A, and so on, I can switch on other times, M1, M2, so MJ will be different names. So uh, again, I will change definition. So V of M will be gro uh, linear growing at M infinity, where U of M is bounded, function. I, uh, with this change of um, in, uh, normalization, so now we have uh, this arbitrary number of parameters to be included in this list. We obtain a list of arbitrary number of Hirota difference equations. So in any three, in any combination of three parameters, I have uh, this Lux pair, and I have this equation. So uh, as I'm going to deal with many of these equations, let me consider this. Uh, I denote this difference operator, linear operator of uh, as Lij. So Ij are these indices here. 
And uh, her other difference equation is in terms of i, j, and k is h of i, j, and k, where all of them are different. And uh, <coughs> as above, sum of three, these operators is identically zero. Left hand side and <coughs> right hand side. So uh, we obtained uh, a lot of equations that, okay, normally people would call them higher Hiroto difference equations, but they are not higher, they are the same. They are the same, simply parameters are changed. So uh, if I start with some fixed i, j, and k set of m uh, variables, uh, then uh, some other, oh no, sorry, here I have to show, uh, some other number l, a symmetry with this l gives me a discrete symmetry because um, uh, with this L, uh, operator commute with uh, I, J, and K. So uh, action of L, operator um, gives a symmetry of uh, in I, MI, MJ, and MK. This means that these three uh, operators where L is participating are mutually commute. And uh, uh, they are also compatible with the original operators of this set which were given here. So uh, this means that uh, together with IJK operator uh, equation for Sherato equation, I also always have a uh, Hirota equation in L, J, I, and J. And uh, so uh, any other um, number of the same equation. Uh, and uh, we see that uh, it is uh, compatibility always is given when two operators with one common index uh, are considered. So, if we consider, if I consider operators with different pairs, non-intersecting pairs, so I, J, and K, L, which are different, then it looks that I can obtain equation of the force in four variables, four independent variables, or four plus zero or three plus one integrable equation. It's not the case. It's easy to see that I can always uh, insert, say, write L of KL uh, like this sum. So introducing this I, I. and then I uh, have uh, always uh, commutator with this uh, one common index. I here and uh, L here, okay? And uh, it's easy to see that, in fact, this for equation is nothing but sum of two, two Hirota equations with different indices. So uh, nothing special happens here. We only increase number of equations. No, sorry. Now, uh, there is an um, easy observation that, in fact, it was already said, that if I make limits equal, so if I send some AJ to AI, I have uh, in the result my V will depend only on sum MI plus MJ in the limit. AI is going to uh, MJ. So we started with all different. 
Now we consider limits. And uh, in this limit, okay, it is uh, in fact uh, what was clear from here. Yes, if I set mi equal to some other number, the number then uh, ai equal to some other number, then uh, here it dep uh, essential part depends on some only. And here again, only we will have dependence on mi plus mj here. So, and uh, so in this limit we have that vi is equal to vj. v shifted by i variables is equal to v shifted by j variable. So, uh, Hirota difference equation becomes identity. So if we have identity, we have to consider what happens in the, if the leading order is zero, then uh, we have to, the first order became leading. So uh, I'll introduce continuous variable Tj, like the first order with respect to Aji. Aji is difference Aj minus Ai. So it goes to zero. So uh, this difference, vi minus vj, this limit I denote as j is shifted by j and differentiated by tj quantity. So I introduce into, uh, continuous variable tj in this way. And uh, I will trace uh, its properties to or oh, what was said above, say, uh, for example, VA minus VJ symptotically behaves as this difference AJI. So the limit uh, AJ to AI, uh, when I divide by this, uh, we see the derivative tends to 1 at uh, t infinity. And, uh, okay, uh, any operator or equation which was depending on i becomes depending on j if there is no j in the list of indices. But if it is happens, then we have something different. For example, for, uh, for this equation, uh, we have um, in the limit aj to ai going to aj, we have this equation. So shift by j differentiated by tj is equal to this product. And uh, the same in the first order of equation. So I divide uh, here the difference equation by this aji. I got this relation. So now I have one continuous variable tj and two discrete j and k variables. So again we have three variables but uh, one of them is continuous now. So uh, now um, I make the following trick. I want to consider uh, on the same uh, level discrete and continuous variables. So I start with six discrete variables, m1, m6, and uh, I uh, consider limits when ai plus 3 goes to ai for any i1 to 3. Yes, so I will get three discrete variables and three continuous variables, t1, t2, and t3. So Li denotes this um, limit of Lj. Yeah? Hjk is uh, this limit of uh, Hirota uh, equation. So, and uh, I'll 
try to check that what I have uh, all these uh, conditions of compatibility are fulfilled and everything is okay. So I have a function of three discrete variables and three continuous variables. And the same for phi, where now also depend on spectral parameter. Uh, and uh, I have to check mutual compatibility of this function. Uh, So if I have, if I choose only three discrete functions as independent, then okay, again we have Hirota difference equation with respect to T2 and T3 T T T uh, play the role of symmetries of this equation. Okay, situation is, becomes more or less like this if we change, uh, consider three disc, um, independent variables as M1, T1, and T2. But in this case, I cannot choose neither L12 nor L2 to be an operator of legs pair because uh, we have no shift with respect to second variable. We have only M1 discrete variable here. So uh, the trick is very simple. We have to differentiate L12 with respect to T2 and taking L2 evolution I write this in this way. So we have shift with respect to 1 and differentiation with respect to T2. Now V2, which was a result of shift of the second variable of V, now it is just V1 minus V2 is just new function, some uh, second function of uh, this construction. So we have shifts with respect to 1, and W is shift here, so we have a lax pair. And the compatibility condition is given by this system of two equations. So we have function V and function W, and minus 1 means shift in the opposite direction, uh, decreasing number of uh, now, M2, M3, and T3 are uh, parameters of symmetry. So uh, again, we, so we have now two discrete symmetries and one continuous symmetry. So next step is final for this construction. So let us consider situation when all three 
continuous variables t1, t2, and t3 are chosen as um, independent variables of equation. So I cannot use no, neither Lij nor Li to include them in lax pair because there is no shifts with discrete variables. So uh, to exclude the shifts, I consider like uh, it was before, derivative by t i, uh, tj of Li. So uh, then I have phi shifted by i, but it is now just number differentiated by ti tj. And uh, in the right hand side, uh, there are no shifts of phi, only uh, different uh, derivatives of phi. So now, if I take this difference, changing i and j here, okay, and consider difference, then it has this form. And now I can insert here difference phi i minus phi j by L i j. It is exactly L i j. So the, I exclude, I remove shifts, and I got this, okay, three equations. The third one is again auxiliary to this construction. It is uh, just, Okay, again, with the sum of three, this three equation is identically zero. And uh, it's easy to check that the, uh, this system is compatible. And condition of compatibility is given by this relation, equation of second order on three different functions. So now, uh, uh, former labels of shifts of, uh, with respect to first, second, third discrete uh, parameters, it, uh, it simply gives different functions. So V upper index I now is just number of a new function. The only uh, Information uh, of evolution is in T i T j, which are uh, here running from one, two, and three. This is very well known equation. If I write, uh, if I introduce function gamma i j of T one, T two, T three in this form, in this way. Then this system of second order system of three equation becomes six uh, six equation equations of the first order on gamma, where i j k is permutation of one to three, and this Darboux system. This Darboux system on uh, um, conjugate curvilinear system of coordinates uh, in um, three-dimensional space. In the case of when the matrix gam, uh, Gij is diagonal. So gamma Ij are Christoffel symbols. I simply omit, uh, so always here, upper and bottom, index are equal, so I just omitted uh, extra symbol here. So this very well-known system, it was studied in many, many articles and uh, books, so uh, people were, uh, okay, starting from Darbu, uh, Darbu, Eisenhardt, Bianchi, Zakharov, Monachov, Zakharov, Tsarev, and many other people worked in this direction, of course, uh, because, uh, okay, this system which is uh, interesting can uh, lead to uh, essential information. It also appears in theory of uh, Hamiltonian systems of hydrodynamic type, 
by Dubrovin Novikov, Sharaponto, other people. Um, and uh, okay, this system is known to be integrable, three dimensional system is known to be integrable. These are uh, integrals, so if I rewrite uh, these systems, uh, this system uh, under this substitution, I got these three equations. And uh, okay, now I want to demonstrate that relation between Darbu system and uh, um, original uh, Hirota difference equation. So let's suppose we have six variables we discussed before, so three discrete and three continuous. Then for phi, uh, this function chi, which we got like normalization. So normalization was, condition on chi was that this chi goes to one, where chi is something without exponents and this coefficient. So uh, this form is written here. So chi is normalized to go to one, and the base d bar derivative, uh, this phi base d bar derivative. Uh, so uh, this difference goes to i, j, i, and uh, derivative with respect to t, j goes to one. Uh, so we can switch on dependence on all six variables in this system. And, uh, but uh, we have to remember about asymptotic behavior. And asymptotic behavior, say, uh, in this equation is given in this way. What we have uh, with asymptotic behavior of uh, V. So if I remove exponents, so all these multiples of chi, I got this operator, the linear for uh, linear part of operator uh, L zero, yes, linear part of operator, and uh, I have to study its green function in order to solve the direct problem. And study of green function gives result which is in a sense. Uh, unexpected and complementary to, or complementary at least to what was said. In, uh, we have not only non-trivial d bar derivative, derivative with respect to lambda bar of this g naught, but we also have a discontinuity on this uh, circle. So this means that we have two kinds of scattering data. When I was speaking about um, Hirota difference equation, I, was, I said that we have uh, only non-trivial d bar derivative and uh, um, uh, okay, uh, function uh, scattering data work uh, continues. Now we have two kinds of scattering data. We have non-trivial d bar derivative and discontinuities on this circle. So we have to solve uh, solving converse problem. We have two terms. The first one give me this discontinuity on the contour. So I have I wrote delta function of the con on the co this curve C on this contour. We saw, and R1 is some parameter here. And uh, the term which we had from uh, here of the difference equation when uh, there was lambda bar, R of lambda. So this term came from here of the difference equation. 
this term was absent in Herota difference equation, and uh, uh, in fact, it is uh, easy to understand that uh, I cannot switch on uh, infinite set of uh, shifts because, in fact, every shift uh, makes this uh, equation divergent. So, in order to consider both uh, uh, phi and then v that are based to both system, uh, both system to Hirota difference equation and uh, Darbu system, I have to consider one half of Darbu. To, I have to cancel this dependence. Because in other case, it will be divergent due to normalization conditions we wrote before. Well, and uh, of course, another problem is that this system uh, can have singularities. So, okay, story about Darbu system is far from being complete till now because uh, really we can control situation in uh, okay vicinity of uh, region where we introduce initial data, but uh, we cannot know, uh, we don't know anything about global solutions of this system. Uh, there are singular solutions in this case, and uh, this is what we studied in more detail. Um, okay, uh, here uh, I want to show something about solid on solutions because solid on solutions are considered to be the most interesting in case of integrable systems so uh, let me say some words about solid on solutions of this system uh, in fact about both systems in this case because I can move from one to another easier. And uh, so here there are notations and uh, here there is a result. So T1, T2, T3 are this constant. Uh, so we had conditions that derivative with respect to Tj is uh, asymptotically goes to one. So this results of this and uh, this V and E are these matrices which were uh, which are introduced here so uh, kind of undermont matrices and here one, uh, one line is uh, removed you see there is nb minus 2 and then nb so e to the i is uh, evolution it is here and uh, okay I want to say that maybe as a prelude uh, to the next talk that uh, uh, situation here is much more complicated than the KP case because uh, here uh, your ex, uh, you have not a only exponents you have also this multiple so uh, it's much more complicated to control signs here than, say, in KP case, when exponents are always positive. Okay, so I think I gave some impression of this uh, situation and uh, just demonstrated the one more argument proving that uh, uh, Hirota difference equation is a uh, equations that lead to other integrable equations in particular so we have seen that it lead to Darbu system okay thank you very much